Why is water use efficiency so important in the cotton industry? Water use efficiency is critical in the cotton industry because water is really one of the most limiting resources that we've got and so we've got to maximise the return per drop of water so we, all the time we're focusing on getting more crop per drop and uh, often times you'll hear growers talk about the return per megalitre they get because they recognise the importance of that water resource and, uh, and everything we do is about maximising um, the profitability from the water. There's no doubt that the public expect um, us to maximise the returns from you know, this valuable resource and so um, that's why we focus so many research dollars on improving the yield per unit of water because um, you know, we've got to maximise the return to Australia from this valuable asset. What is the cotton industry doing in terms of water use efficiency? In terms of water use efficiency, um, the industry is investing many research dollars into this topic. It has for the last decade, and I'm sure it will continue to do so uh, over the next decade. Um, those investments in research uh, focus at a, at a number of levels. There's um, uh, investments around uh, reducing evaporation and losses at, um, you know, in delivering the um, water to the field, and then there's um, work on things like scheduling and um, you know timing of irrigations to ensure that um, you know we don't overwater the crop and and create waterlogging which is also a problem so um, yeah big research investments in a number of areas that um, can improve water use efficiency the other areas where we're making um, improvements in water use efficiency is in um, improving infrastructure, you know, the delivery of uh, water to the field, so uh, the investments that people are making in uh, uh, lining channel systems, in reducing evaporation from water storages, all assist in um, driving water use efficiency. Um, as an industry, we've had a, um, you know, our third environmental assessment. Um, from that, there's been a sustainability report developed, and that has some key benchmarks and indicators that help us set some targets for the future in keeping driving water use efficiency in the industry. What kind of efficiency gains is the cotton industry hoping to achieve? Look, we set ourselves a very bold, ambitious target um, a number of years ago of trying to double water use efficiency. And, and I'm pleased to report in the last decade, we can clearly document a 40% improvement in water use efficiency. So maybe not a doubling, but certainly um, you know, a massive improvement. And uh, I think the industry can be proud that um, it set itself a bold, ambitious target. We didn't quite get there, but we should be very proud of the, that 40% improvement. That's a, a massive improvement in water use efficiency and is really a testament to the research and development effort funded by growers and government, and also growers willing to adopt research quickly. What do you think are the industry's greatest challenges in terms of water use efficiency? I think it's getting um, you know, the adoption of some of the research. You know, there are so many different facets of research um, that could be adopted to drive water use efficiency. But one of the key things is being just to uh, get the measurement of, uh, of the water because you know, a lot of people will tell you if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And there's a lot of facets to uh, water use. You know, you're measuring the, the water that's delivered to your pump, you're del measuring how much is actually delivered to the field, and then you've got you know, to measure evaporation and rainfall. And so it's not a simple thing. And so um, you know, a lot of the tools that have been developed are assisting growers in making those measurements and then using that to schedule irrigation. So yeah, certainly um, you know, the adoption of the technology by the grower is uh, one of the key challenges. Um, and I also think one of the challenges is um, knowing which pieces of infrastructure growers should um, uh, invest in because, you know, some of the newer irrigation technologies, you know, overhead irrigation, that is quite a big capital outlay as is drip irrigation and so growers need to have good information to make the decisions about which uh, irrigation infrastructure is going to give them a benefit and pay off for them in the longer term.